Hi, YouTube. Skirt! Scratch that. Hey, yo, what's up, YouTube? How you doing? Today I got my great breakfast. Right now I'm heading up towards the observatory. Jano told me, yo, Mondo, meet me up there. I said, what? I'm on my way, fam. See no more. Well, yeah. Right now I'm heading up to the observatory. I'm going to go link with Jano, clean up this lens a little bit. And, uh, yeah, just hang out with my brother up there for a bit. See what we can do, you know, what type of shenanigans. But today's breakfast is not sponsored by the following brand that's in my right hand. Can't say the name because I'm not sure if it's legal enough to say on a monetized video. But yeah. Oh, shit. All right, guys, quick change of plans. John already left, uh, so there we going back. I'm gonna head back to Starbucks. I'm gonna go and work on my videos and upload it for you guys, but other than that, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, climbing this uh, this little section of where I was to get up to the Griffith Observatory is actually pretty uh, slightly intense, but it's a good workout, I like it. So I'll probably see myself here more often Perfect. Hey guys, what's up? So I know it's been a long time since I've made a video and I really apologize for that. Um, I've had some things that have been going on in my mind, you know, personal thoughts and, you know, ideas and trying to think of like where this direction of the channel is going to go and how I'm going to aim in that direction. So I've been thinking about different things at the same time. Uh, I primarily wanted to do a Q&A video because it's been requested so many times. So I went ahead, I asked you guys some questions and over the period of time I recorded some questions. So with that being said, I got some questions written down. I'm going to go ahead and answer these as best as possible. I don't have much battery on my phone, but I'm going to work on getting to answer as many as I can before I go charge up my phone and then find somewhere. I, I just think it really looks really nice here and it's a really beautiful scenery. So uh, question number one, what what is in your bag? And this is asked by Justin. Uh, Justin, I have multitude of things. I have uh, Gerber multi-tool, excuse me, I have a Leatherman multi-tool, um, which pretty much helps me out if I need to use any type of screwdriver, flathead, knife, um, etc. I also have, um, you know, extra sets of clothes, uh, space to carry my food. I have some water, um, you know, just different essentials. I will be making a video, so go ahead and check that out when it drops. Uh, next question is by Cole. What phone do you use? Cole, I use a Ga Samsung Galaxy S5. Um, right now, specifically, I'm working on trying to get in contact with uh, LG to hopefully partner and produce a documentary and content for you guys, shot specifically with the LG G6 or the LG V20. Um, that's pretty much what I want to use. They're pretty much two of the best camera phones on the market, without a doubt. Uh, the only, uh, how could you say, it's pretty much one of the only smartphones that you can actually adjust manual ISO, shutter speed. Uh, your white balance, you can pretty much control it like an actual DSLR camera. Uh, so that's really, really cool. It lets you get a really great shot at all times. Um, next question is by 40zip. He says, you seem happy all the time. Are you ever sad? Honestly, of course. Everybody has a path of emotion, you know? I mean, well, excuse me, everybody has emotions. Um, you know, I've just come to learn that different parts of life and different journeys are just to also teach you uh, either a a different type of emotion to help you work on that certain emotion and strengthen that emotion to you know not be as so weak and take it so quick and like be quick to cry just like you know build it up to the strength to the point where you can now look at that emotion it's you know establish and know what's going to happen and how you're going to conquer and to get over it just different things but it's it's pr a pretty weird way to look at things i guess you could say um but yes i am sad you know, it's not it's not easy being out here. There are times where I do wish I had a home, but that's just the reality of life. So I just deal with what I got. I get to come to places like this at the end of the day, which is like really cool. Uh, next question is asked by Junior. Uh, Junior says, how do you make money? Uh, I make money a couple, t a couple ways. I don't know if you guys have t been able to tell, but I actually have ads on these videos. Um, so far I've accumulated $13 and like 65 cents. 
Um, and that's been since the period of my start. So I need a lot to go to get my first check because I believe YouTube pays you after you get your first hundred. Uh, and that's when they start to actually start paying you. So yeah, I have, uh, I have ads on these videos. Uh, if you guys don't know how they work, go ahead and check that out if you guys like to, um, just to be more informed for educational purposes. Uh, apart from that, I panhandle. Um, some friends have actually been helping me out quite significantly. Uh, like my good best friend, Oved, um, you know, he's been around since the beginning of my tour, so he's somebody who helps me out a lot, and I've been getting help from a couple more people. Uh, next question, it's uh, Emily, are you ever gonna meet with Lance? I don't know, I don't really think so. I mean, to be honest, it would be cool, but the last thing I'd want is for people to start thinking that I'm trying to meet with like popular YouTubers to kind of steal their, their subscribers or something. I mean, truth be told, you know, I'm humbled that you guys were able to actually come to my channel after seeing me in Cody's video like that. Like, to know that 1,800 people, uh, not only Cody's video, but Adam's and Nate's, all three of those channels that have me on there, if you guys have come to my channel and you guys have subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys actually taking the time to. Um, truth is, my channel is not really going to be like Lance's and Cody's, and that's just the truth. Like, right now I'm vlogging, but I have a really good idea of where I want to go with this, so... Uh, it's not gonna be like them. I'm more into cycling and action um, You know more along the lines of traveling. So that's that's my perspective um, Long lost game ass. Did you choose to be homeless? Truth be told I had to why well, I actually did I had no choice after one, you know choices are made sometimes because it just happens um, Next question is by Trenton, where do you shower? I shower in different places, uh, mostly anywhere I can take a shower. Like now I just signed up for a Planet Fitness, so that's gonna be where I, I shower now after I work out to work. Uh, and then other than that, uh, you know, fountains like bird showers and stuff like that. Those are quick ways. All right, I am back. Okay, so the next question we got is by Jack. Jack asked, are you only looking to meet YouTubers? Uh, truth be told, no, I'm not only looking to meet YouTubers. I'm looking to meet people out there who could elevate my experiences in life and like show me, introduce me to something new. Uh, so, I mean, I'm down to meet up with anybody on my trip as long as you guys want to, but uh, that's pretty much my only requirement. Like offer to show me something that's gonna be really cool, that's gonna introduce me to new things and kind of open up my eyes to a new experience. That's what I look for as a person. That's kind of why I enjoy being out here because every day is that same, you know, I get to, I get to experience something new, you know, so, or meet somebody. So it's really cool. Um, next question is by Gemma, where do you think life will take, take you? Uh, truth be told Gemma, life can take me in so many directions, but the path that I'm aiming towards and I'm trying to keep on track of is, uh, you know, hopefully becoming able to, um, make a substantial living with YouTube, best said, or enough to keep myself alive. But I wanna be able to invest in the camera equipment and some, you know, things that I do need. Like I need a new bag, I need to get a whole bunch of new stuff so I can actually sustain myself. And I wanna make a documentary, like that's what I really wanna make. I wanna make a documentary of what life is really like um, here in America for people to see. Like it's probably gonna sound weird that I say this, but it's gonna feature like sort of a glimpse for people around the world to see that we're not really as politicians or government leader or nation whoever they just make us out to be or whatever the case is like just show them that we're the same as them you know and that we all have the same struggles here that they might have over there they might not be on the same scale but you know there's there's certain things that we can all come together on so that's just one thing but primarily my documentary is going to be focused on traveling being able to show people what life is like in america um you know getting to meet different people and getting to learn their stories and share the stories if they'd like to um but i have a lot of things that i'm, I'm planning on i'm not going to be homeless forever that's just the truth and the reality of it um so i'm not going to be a homeless vlogger all the time but or uh a vagabond as some people would call it but i uh i just i want i want to kind of how, how could you say i kind of want to establish myself and i want to brand myself to. and mad vlogger asked me who inspired me to start vlogging truth is mad vlogger the person who i really 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 enjoyed the most was casey neistat and as cheesy as that sounds a lot of people watch casey neistat and they could probably say oh i love casey neistat or that's such a generic answer 
the truth is sure tell me whatever you guys want to say because there's been a lot of videos of Casey's that I've watched that have been fantastic and when I first came across Casey I was like what the hell is this like this guy has like everything like just a whole bunch of mess of things in the back and it's not really a nice mess excuse me it's organized but man when you start watching those videos like after time you start noticing like everything in that studio has this place and it starts to make sense for a reason like why he has it and like why it just benefits him in the videos and it's just like Casey can't make a video without having everything already there like he already has a prop like if he needs something that from years ago like when he had to rescue his drone the zoo had literally like a construction outfit like how crazy is that uh, also the reason that Casey inspired me is because he has a video called drama life where he explains Lily the sequence of his life to where he is now and how life has worked out for him and truth is there is a lot a lot of similarities between his path of mine and it's just crazy and to be able to witness somebody who's walked a similar trait of my of shoes that I am in now and be able to actually make it somewhere on a platform that people would never expect being YouTube man I, I really have high expectations hopes of what well not high expectations but I have really high hopes of what I could accomplish with you guys because that's that's the person that I would love to just sit down one day and just converse with like not if not for the fame not for the shout out but just to converse and share the experience because man that guy is a whole different being on a different level and I definitely look up to Casey he's a really fantastic human being and I applaud him um, but other than that hey guys what's up sorry for the change in scenery at the moment uh, my phone died when I was back at that hilltop but I came to Starbucks in charge of my phone. Um, I had to make some space for the videos so I can shoot this right now. So, with that said, let's just jump right into it. Uh, last question I had answered was by Mad Vlogger about who inspired me to start vlogging. So, uh, this last question is actually by Ricardo and it says, How is life currently? Uh, kind of a trick question, I guess you could say. Uh, life's not the best, but. I'm just continuing. I mean, I apologize. I haven't been able to shoot just because I've had a lot of things happening lately that have kind of made me like, I don't know, man. Like, it's just changing my mood a lot. Um, I had an external battery. I went down to the uh, OSS shop the day I was with Phil at Chrysler's house, and I went back the next day, and my charger was missing. And it turned out that somebody right before me entering the store had actually gone in and actually took my external battery, which really sucked because now I'm at an external charger that was at least like 25 to 30,000 milliamps, which if you could do the math for my phone, that's about nine to eight full battery, I mean nine to 10 full battery cycles on my phone of charging. And that thing was like my, my best, best, best thing that I had. And I don't have it, but I've just been losing too much stuff lately, man. Like between my phone being get, like getting messed up, now my battery get well, my external battery getting stolen, my headphones breaking, my bags, dude, just so much crap. Like you guys, you guys have no idea. Like you guys see like the happier model. You guys will see like the stuff that actually goes down behind the scenes. Like it's it's not that easy. Um, I have some footage I want to show you guys, but it's kind of degrading. Like, I don't know how I feel about releasing that yet, but I'll work on that. I might try and put that in one of the vlogs soon, but yeah, um, that was pretty much like the last of the Q&A. I did want to take a moment in this video to actually, uh, two things, sorry. I did want to take a moment in this video to actually do two things. One, I wanted to give a couple people shout outs and two, I want to thank them for their donations. Um, so that's pretty much going to be a uh, channel name Mason Clash of Clans, uh, John John SN10, Money God, D-Boy, and Oved. All you guys that have donated, thank you so much. I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. Um, it's truly helped me out a lot, like beyond what you guys think. And I, I just got to keep working, like, you know, YouTube it's not easy to make money on I've only made about $14 but I'm working with that and that has to do with the goals that I'm gonna say next uh, some of the goals that I have for the channel and for myself in the long run uh, first would be to fix my teeth that yeah I don't really like that I, I, it sucks and I want to get in shape like I just want to fix my whole general appearance because I just I owe it to myself you know, for so many years I've owed myself this um, Number two is help my dad and my mom. I want to help them out more than you guys think. Um, you know, we have a current, couple current issues going on in our family, and I want to be able to help them out and stand up and you know, well, stand, slip foot, and uh, do the right thing and help them out. Um, 
my other one, which would be what I'm explaining now, is establish my to establish a good financial position. Uh, what I mean by that is, I want to be able to hopefully one day live off of entertaining you all, so to speak. Um, we all know and we're no fools that like, there's a lot of money to be made on YouTube. You know, you can look at YouTubers that are really popular nowadays. They have quite a lot more things, and I've added, I've actually integrated the ads, and well, I've, I've turned on the ads on my channel, and hopefully that can help bring in some revenue. Um, it has been doing much lately. I've only made about fourteen dollars so far. I just checked about thirteen eighty-five, so I'm shy of fourteen. But uh, yeah, I just really want to be able to like spread out and kind of reach more people, and you know, build up those numbers because there's a lot of cool things that I want to make happen. Um, and the next ones are going to tell you exactly what they are. The next one is I want to get one of two bikes, either a Cannondale Slate, which if you've never heard about it, I highly recommend you look it up. It's pretty much a road bike on 27 and a half or 650B wheels with its suspension fork, which is phenomenal. I've ridden the bike and it felt amazing. Um, and two, I wanted to. I'm really interested in the uh, specialized Sequoia. It's what I would con what I would uh, portray as the number one competitor of the Slate. Um, the benefit to Sequoia is that it has an option where you can actually change it, convert it from 700C wheels to 650B wheels. If I'm correct, I read that. Um, and I actually started looking into that a bit and that's the route I want to take to be able to convert my bike but regardless if it's not it's still phenomenal um, it's a really amazing bike just the geometry the way specializes designed this and the research and design and you know, I really want to buy one of those two bikes I mean my other part is to travel America by bicycle that's why I want to buy a bike I want to film YouTube videos for you guys and I want to make them while I'm actually out there on the road traveling hopefully um, and that's part of the reason why I do want to get a bike and that's pretty much it like those are pretty much the goals that I have obviously I do want to settle down for now I think my my best thing is to keep doing what I'm doing and keep traveling just because there's gonna come a time where I'm gonna hit a click and uh, I'm gonna be ready to finally settle down, you know, like right now I'm enjoying my life, I'm getting to live life and I'm just doing my thing and that's really what I enjoy the most, you know, even if I have to sleep behind bushes or whatever the case is, it's okay. I know my days on this type of life are gonna come to an end sometime and I just gotta focus on trying to come up with more money, you know, I gotta be able to, sorry, I gotta find a way to sustain myself as far as food goes and water and all that, but yeah, with that being said, this is gonna wrap up my Q&A with a little bit of shout outs and my personal personal goals for the channel and myself and um, with that being said thank you so much for watching I generally appreciate it if you like this video drop it a comment like or subscribe uh, it'll be cool to get some feedback and hear what you guys think in the comments below so hit me back up let me know what some of your goals are peace